pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yo prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios entera con libertad y justicia para todos. Science is interesting. Electromagnetism rules on Earth and in the night sky. In fact, electromagnetic forces shaped the night sky. Turn back the clock to when the universe was just 380,000 years old. At this time, the cosmos is just a turbulent mix of subatomic particles, protons, electrons, and, trapped between them, light energy. In the early universe, there were no atoms because the energy was so intense that separate charged particles existed in a very hot, dense, primordial soup. Then, everything changes. Between the time the universe was about a minute old and the time when the universe was 300,000 years old, electromagnetism slowly came to the fore and protons and electrons began to feel electric forces and combine as atoms. Electromagnetism essentially began to determine the dynamics of matter and the ultimate formation of everything we see. Electromagnetism draws electrons and protons together to create the first elements hydrogen and helium. And the light, trapped between these fundamental particles, is set free. The lights of the universe turn on for the very first time. As the newly formed atoms swirl around each other, their combined magnetic effect begins to act. The smallest magnets in the universe are atoms themselves that create basically mini bar magnets that are on the scale of the subatomic world. Eventually, these chaotic micromagnets begin to coalesce and generate vast magnetic lines, also called magnetic fields. And then over time, what happens is that these magnetic fields begin to grow. And so all the magnetic fields we see today in our universe can really be attributed to these primordial magnetic fields. Now, breakthrough research into these original magnetic fields is changing everything we thought we knew about how stars are born. The old picture of how stars are formed is all you need is gravity and time. But we've come to understand that the problem's a little trickier than that that actually magnetic fields play a fundamental role. So it's possible that without these magnetic fields, stars themselves would not exist. A billion years after the Big Bang, magnetism is about to spark the first stars into life. Enjoy these pictures from Barrett Runners. For lunch today we have Wild Mike's Cheese Pizza, Wild Mike's Pepperoni Pizza, Wild Mike's Veggie Pizza, or a Chicken Chef Salad, Wild Butter Sandwich Box, your choice of sliced red peppers with ranch dressing, Brussels sprouts, fresh fruit, and the choice of milk.